Money in politics tends to ruffle the feathers of many Americans, and nowhere is it as controversial as it has been with corporate involvement in politics. Some have argued that corporations should have no role whatsoever in politics, while others have felt that a corporation also has protected First Amendment rights. Of course, the First Amendment states, Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. So, is the speech of a corporation protected? The landmark Supreme Court case, Citizens United versus the FEC, weighed in on these debates, as well as its ramifications. And to understand Citizens United versus the FEC, it's necessary for us to understand a brief history of campaign finance regulation. From 1907 to 1970, Congress passed numerous pieces of legislation to limit campaign spending. This included limitations on corporate, union, and federal employee involvement in campaign funding. In 1971, Congress further restricted campaign finances by passing the Federal Elections Campaign Act, or FECA, which strengthened the requirements for politicians to publicly report their campaign finances and added limits to the amount of money individuals or groups could donate to candidates. It also led to the creation of the Federal Election Commission, or FEC, to police campaign spending. The trend toward limiting campaign spending took a turn when the Supreme Court struck down part of the FECA in the 1976 case of Buckley v. Vallejo by ruling that restricting independent spending by individuals and groups was a violation of free speech under the First Amendment. Still, in 2002, more campaign regulation came as the Bipartisan Campaign Finance Reform Act, or McCain-Feingold Act, restricted corporations or labor organizations from financing issue-based advertising on behalf of candidates. These are also known as electioneering communications. This brings us to the heated 2008 presidential election and Democratic primary that pitted Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama against each other in a tight race to see who would be the Democratic nominee for president. Citizens United, a nonprofit organization which receives money from private individuals, as well as some corporations, released a film which was highly critical of Hillary Clinton and spent over a million dollars doing so. As Citizens United understood, the movie could be considered electioneering communications. They challenged the McCain-Feingold Act before the movie aired, arguing that its provision on electioneering communications violated the First Amendment protections of free speech. Because of the ongoing debate about money and politics, the case went before the Supreme Court in 2010. In a 5-4 to four decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the McCain-Feingold Act's ban on corporate and union expenditures was unconstitutional because it violated freedom of speech. The opinion for the court said, were the court to uphold these restrictions, the government could repress speech by silencing certain voices at any of the various points in the speech process. In the end, the decision allows corporations and unions to spend unlimited sums of money on ads and other political tools. These are often described as soft money within politics, as the money spent is not going directly to a political candidate, but helps that campaign indirectly. It is, however, still illegal for corporations and unions to donate directly to a campaign. The debate continues to rage on to this day, and much controversy continues surrounding the role of corporations and money in politics. As this case and many others show, a Supreme Court decision rarely settles a controversy in the public's mind. For more information on this and many other important court cases throughout history, be sure to check out the other videos in our Homework Help series.